Hey, it's Patrick Beckler Tech Tips. Today we're talking about crankshaft runout on twin cams and M8s. If you're doing a cam job, you really need to know this information. And I'll show you how to get it. Let's flip this camera and take a closer look. We're talking about crank runout. Basically, we are we're talking about how much this shaft here is wobbling. This is the cam chest. Your flywheels are in there. This shaft comes out. Your oil pump slides over the top of that. Your cam plate slides over the top of that. Your cams are driven off of it. So Harley says this thing can wobble up to like 12 or 13 thousandths, depending on models. Could be a little less, could be a little more. But really, if you're running gear drive, say from SNS, you have to have less than three thousandths. And SNS flywheel is good to a half a thousand. So that 12 or 13 thousandths number is kind of crazy from Harley Davidson when you figure all this stuff is driven off of it. If it starts wobbling, you can really start to tear stuff up. Honestly, if I see something that starts to get into double digits, I start to get concerned even with chain drive cams. As you can see, I have a dial indicator rigged up here. What we're gonna do is put that dial indicator on there, you zero it out, and then we will rotate the rear wheel. So I have the bike in high gear. As I rotate the rear wheel, you'll see this start to move and that'll give us our measurement. There's also a fancier way to do this with a trick tool from fueling. This is that fueling tool, really clean way to do this. See a nice plate bolts right on there, holds everything real nice. Our dial indicator is on here. Um, I'm going to rock that rear wheel and you'll see that needle start to move. That's measuring how much wobble is in that crankshaft right there. Like I said before, if you're doing any type of cam work, this is something you need to check before you put those cams in there.